Yeah, yeah. 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 On the tens, it's and it's called yeah. pounds, Scottish pounds. Wow, yeah. never seen it before. So it's still, it's still okay, Matt and Jake, they're about to leave me. Peace out. I'll it's be so pleasure. lonely, I'll be crying. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the friendship and the company. Yeah, like yours, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a group, yeah, have fun on uh, Benevis. Yeah, don't do anything fun. stupid. Can't. So my mattress leaked out um, three nights ago and I've been sleeping on the ground the past two nights camping. I'm trying to find where the leak is and I think I found it. Listen. Somewhere here in this spot, maybe down in the bottom. It's around here. I found the leak right here. I can feel air coming. <laughs> I just picked up some resupply items and about to do laundry and I didn't realize I have to walk on the Great Glenway. <laughs> There we go, on the Great Glenway to the laundromat, or laundrette. <laughs> All right, I have arrived at my accommodation to relax for the next two days. Yeah, two days. Uh, this is Brayburn Guest House. It's got a very good rating, but it's uh, four miles from Fort William. So I walked today to do laundry and then I walked here. It's okay, I like walking. So Texas is not going to join me because she's still on the West Highland Way. That would have been her bed. <laughs> nice room and a very nice view. Look at that. <sighs> I'm sick. Mm. Good morning. This is day one of my new adventure. <laughs> I am finished with the West Highland Way three days ago. I rested my sore legs. Oh my gosh. My calves were so extremely sore and I was sick with a cold. <laughs> Jake gave me a cold. <sighs> Yesterday I sneezed three million times. Not exaggerating. <laughs> but today I feel much better. No fever, no headache, no decrease in energy, uh, no body ache, just sneezing and runny nose, itchy nose, itchy eyes. Uh, I am ready to start Cape Wrath Trail today. It is 6.40 in the morning on Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Okay, thank you. Hi! Oh, oh what'd you get? So I have crossed Loch Lenny on the ferry. I am now in Kamusnagol. Kamusnagol, <laughs> I think that's how it's pronounced. And I have started my walk. Uh, 
The first part of the trail is a six mile road walk. It'll be a nice warm up for the legs. I figure today is gonna be the easiest day. Um, I have been nervous and excited at the same time about doing this trail because this is different from what I've done before. Uh, this trail, Cape Wrath Trail, is not way marked. It's a path suggestion from Fort William all the way to the most northwesterly point of Britain, which is Cape Wrath. It's 230 miles long and I have, I don't have any GPS file. I have um, a book about the trail, about the path. I have a map, topography map and a compass. So I have to be completely aware and awake on this walk <laughs> to make sure I know exactly where I am on the map at all time. So I'm gonna take it one bit at a time, one part at a time and uh, take a bearing often. Also, I was the only one in the ferry today at the 7.40 a.m. ferry. So I know I'll be in solitude for a few hours, <laughs> if not all day, if not for a few days, which is fine. After the West Highland Way, I am tired of seeing hundreds of people everywhere walking. So I've been looking forward to this. Oh, exactly a week ago, this is Wednesday, exactly a week ago Wednesday, Texas and I were starting the West Highland Way and I'm starting a different trail. <laughs> oh, I have survived my first week in Scotland. Good job, sheep. Hello again, still road walking, uh, two miles in now. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am on a six week vacation in the UK, um, hiking vacation backpacking trip I guess <laughs> um, I arrived last week on Tuesday I did the West Highland Way in five days I finished that about three days ago took two zero days in Fort Williams and I'm starting Cape Wrath now if you are interested to see my West Highland Way hike just search in my videos it was just recent videos so uh, it was fun I ended up uh, walking with Jake's journeymate, a uh, YouTuber from England and another guy from Netherlands. They're both like in their 20s. <laughs> I'm in my late 40s and they're like 6'2 or 6'3 so they're very tall. But they're, they're very, very respectful young men. They waited for me at different stops. I didn't even ask them to. <laughs> so yeah, it was fun. I liked them very much. And uh, hopefully we'll be friends forever. After two and a half hours of walking on the road, seven and a half miles later, I get to this rock tree where people put their rocks. I don't have a rock. <laughs> Cute. All right. I thought it's six miles. I don't know why I thought it was six miles. I started to doubt myself. Did I miss it? There's no way. Okay. I just ran into a guy going the other way and it's not friendly. I was like, hi. I was like, hi. And then kept walking. <sighs> probably frustrated with the cape breath he just wanted to get done <laughs> I don't know cape breath made him that way here's the bridge on the map and there's a house across from it but we keep going straight and then we left here and then followed the river we're in Kona Glen walking on the right side of uh, the Kona River. From the map, it looks like it's gonna be four miles until there's a landmark called uh, Korlarak Bathi. All I need to do is just keep on the right side of this river the whole time. 
and then when I get to the body, I'll reassess. I love it so far. There's nobody around. I don't have to race anyone or try to pass someone. I can just relax and enjoy without having to worry someone's behind me or trying to pass me or vice versa. <sighs> so far so good. <laughs> I don't think I want to do West Highland Way again just because it's so crowded. Maybe I'll do it in the winter. <laughs> Not winter, maybe like a, the low season. I'm carrying four days of food. I plan to resupply at Kintail Craft. The second hiker that is not friendly and he was limping. What has this trail done to people? I'm worried. Highland cow. <laughs> A lot of calves. Hi. Margaret. Do you know Bobo? <laughs> Hi. So cute. Can you see through the hair? <laughs> Hi. Hey, New bridge? New bridge. <laughs> Can I step on it? I stay in the middle though. You'll okay. 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 Good timing. <laughs> I'm the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> New bridge. Guess how many people are behind me? Zero! Abundance of wild camping opportunity. We're going through that glen. Right there, in the middle. There's the Bothy, Korlalak Bothy. I don't think it's open for walkers, but I've seen people camp on that flat spot right there. Like I watched Toba Travel's channel. Neil and Lisa, they camp there. They have the same tent as I do. Okay, let's take a break. Um, let me, 12.19. I started walking at 7.55, eight. And now it's 12.19, I got here. Okay, it's 12.45. I stopped for 30 minutes or so, ate three cookies and uh, a, a cup of coffee. I am now energized. Yeah, I haven't had coffee all day today. <laughs> I was in a hurry to make it to the ferry. I didn't have coffee this morning. So I have about four miles, another four miles on this track. Uh, and then I'll have to... Um, turn right away from the river and that's when the 4x4 track ends so four miles from now I have to set my Fitbit Soon the 4x4 track will end and the river will go to the left and I'm going to go up there. I'm, uh, 
I, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, I have reached the end of the 4x4 track right here. It ended. It ends here. That means I am right. You guys can see this. Hopefully, there. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm pointing at. Yeah, right here. So the river is gonna go to the left. Right here. And then I'm gonna follow that track, that single track, skirting around this mountain and then around it to going to the right. I see the track. Whew, uphill. I came from all the way down there. Now I'm climbing this single track for one mile. My feet are already somewhat wet from puddles. I don't mind wet feet. I did a lot of training hike in Arkansas where I purposely wet my feet for 12 days straight. It was raining and I purposely just walk in water and stuff and I never get any blister. The whole time in my hiking career, I never got one blister. Hopefully it'll stay that way. That's the river Kona behind me, going that way. And I have started to turn north, going to the right, over this hill. Whew. walk on this track for two miles until there's a forest on my right. My shoes is dirty. Drizzling. So I put on my rain jacket and my pack cover. Mm. The last two and a half miles has been really boggy and muddy. <laughs> Here's the current condition of my feet. <laughs> As expected on Cape Breath. It's mud like that. <laughs> oh, there's a stream there I can wash my feet, my, my shoes. Right here. <gasps> Yay! Oh, it feels good. Oh, wow. So pretty. I love it. Yay, I made it through the bogs and muds. Now it's 4x4 four four track again, all the way to Glenfin. And good job, sheep. So that's the white house that is on the map, which is right here. I hope you see it. Um, the book says from the start to Glenvin and Monument is 21 and a quarter mile. <laughs> I already walked over 22 miles according to my Fitbit. <sighs> so I don't know which, which is right. 21 mile or my Fitbit. Hmm. I feel like I've been lied to. <laughs> oh, I still have like a mile or a mile and a half to the monument. Then I have to look for wild camping along the river. Right before the Bothy, Cory Holly Bothy. I'm so hungry. Ooh, there's a nice campsite right there with fire rain. <laughs> I'm 
noise. Finally, there's a sign, Glen Finan, this way. I heard the bridge is closed, so I have to go around it. I love this boardwalk. Reminds me of New Jersey. The AT in New Jersey. Here's the bridge that is closed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go down here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> Something got caught. Okay, okay, okay. Again. What got caught? My backpack. Oh, it's too tall. <sighs> okay. I'm I'm on the bridge. I'm okay, I'm okay. Wow, it's so crowded. What is that? I'm too late. They close at four. <laughs> that is the famous Glenfin and Viaduct in the Harry Potter film. I have not seen the film, so I don't know. But people like it. I think I'll go underneath it. I didn't walk to the monument. There's a lot of tourists. It's overwhelming. And the cafe is closed, so I have no purpose being here. Wow, so big. <laughs> wow. Glenfinnan Viaduct Centenary, eighteen ninety seven to nineteen ninety seven. <laughs> Constructed at a cost of eighteen thousand pounds. I found the perfect campsite. I've seen videos. Um, it was Neil and Lisa. They camp here. There's a picnic table. I think this is where they camp. I'm gonna stay here too. <laughs> I was looking for this. All right. Look at this. <laughs> this is just probably less, like um. Less than a mile from the Cory Holly body. <sighs> yep. I'm staying here. Uh, what time is it? It is 5.45. I'm going to set up. All set up. I'm going to go inside. There's this kind of drizzling. And um, make food. And relax. I love this kind of sight. Time to do the map. So this morning I took the 7.40 a.m. ferry from the ferry landing to Kamus Nagol. And then this road walk, I don't know why I put six mile road walk. That is not true. It is actually seven and a half till the bridge. Yep. Unless my Fitbit is not it's off or it's not correct. But it's seven and a half. And then um, walk through this um, four by four track. It's so easy, kind of flat, up and down, but gen gentle up and down. Made it to the Bothy uh, at mile 12.5, according to my Fitbit. 12.3, sorry. Korlarak Bothy. 
and then another four mile from the Bathi to where it turned away from the river where the 4x4 four four track end, ends it's four miles from the Bathi and then now this part is a uh, it starts to go uphill about um, a mile I believe or two I forgot one mile I think yeah one mile uphill I don't remember actually <laughs> and then when it starts going downhill it was so boggy oh my god it was so boggy uh, I just give up like I, I give up trying to keep my shoes um, dry so I just step wherever but sometimes it's, my, my, my whole foot go under the went under the mud <clears throat> and then um, where am I oh here and then there's a long um, 4x4 track again all the way to the White House and then there's a parking lot there there's a few camping spot here um, I saw some firing right here by the parking it's nice right here and then this feels so long uh, the bridge was close as you can see I fell <laughs> trying to um, go around the bridge and Glenfinnan I did not like it's too many tourists it's no oh, it's just too many people I just skipped the monument I didn't even look at it I uh, don't care about the viaduct Harry Potter viaduct went under it and then went on um, this road this asphalt or tarmac they call it here in Britain <laughs> asphalt um, it's really nice it's quiet no cars um, and I'm camping around here maybe like maybe a mile from the Bathi there's a Bathi there Cory Holly Bathi and I'm here somewhere that's it for today I'm gonna rest I'm kind of tired my legs are tired and I'll continue tomorrow morning and I have to plan my day two right now for tomorrow good night everyone bye